It is Omega Zero here. I am back with more Code Vein. Uh, there was a bit of a problem with the recording because my dumbass went and deleted the stuff while I was in Share Studio. I forgot about it, yada yada yada. So, technically, we're gonna have to do it retread today, but I'll have to do that retread eventually, I should say. But instead of doing the Celestial Ice Prison, which I have completed, I'll just do that. I'll just show that off later. Uh, we will be doing Tower of Trials 2. And this is what I do, like, switch it up. Maybe this will go up. This most likely will go up before doing the Celestial Ice Prison, because, like I said, my dumbass self went and deleted stuff when I was supposed to keep it. But, you know how it is. Mistakes were made, so on and so forth. And besides, I'll be able to show off how I trivialize the boss, even though I, I find it the most annoying. And anyways, uh, this is also the alternate skin for EO. It was shown at the end of the last um, map regarding the, um, the fighting of the... Uh, the Hellfire Knight, where you team up with Eo and Louie to take down the enemies, and then you get the one of the alternate skins where Eo is basically just wearing human cl better clothes instead of the rags that she has. I'm assuming this is what they had lying around the church. Anyways, we have to do this, and this is particularly annoying because guess what? It's two of them, but you can't take it down because guess what? I since I'm over level. And I'm using the Queen's Blood Code. Um, destroying these enemies now is infinitely easier than when I was trying it uh, right as when the DLC came out. Because I tried this before the DLC and I got curb stomped because of how much damage these guys were doing and so on and so forth. But I think I'm like level 180 now. So it shouldn't be too bad. I say that, but. You know how this game can be at times. Anyways, you just want to do the same thing you do in pretty much every single challenge map and try to chain as many backstabs as possible against the enemies. Because guess what? This stuff is annoying. But you can also do this. Uh, you can spam the fireballs as much as you want because they will keep coming back pretty quickly and this is a prelude to how I defeat the... Um, uh, Frozen Empress, to tell you that now, you do need to have this particular skill with you because of how much damage it racks up due to how big the body of the Frozen Empress is. If I could show off the cutscene again, I would, but I can't with the Frozen Empress, but maybe I'll try to find some way I could find it on YouTube and show off like the Frozen Empress uh, appearance or whatever. Anyways, chop, chop, slash, slash, you know how it is. With this uh, blood veil that you get from defeating the Hellfire Knight by doing, not defeating it, but by doing a certain amount of damage in a single attack, um, you can basically create a incredibly powerful uh, magic veil in a sense. Because look at this. <laughs> like, despite the fact that I, I took some damage, like, I was doing. Like, you can one shot these enemies, look at it, 12,000 damage. Granted though, these enemies are most likely weak to ice as most like powerful enemies are. Now I just kinda wishing there was a really powerful ice attack that you could spam really quickly. Chop, 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 chop. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and bam, there's your spam. <laughs> Now, let's see, I don't know what it, I forgotten like what enemy we faced down here, let's see. Who is it? Oh, it's you again. The, um, uh, uh, what was it, the Executioner? No, the friggin' egg, I forgot its name anyways, let's fight it. Uh, invade, no, it was, somewhat, right, the Invading Executioner. Ow. And this is what I was talking about, like, you, this can be spammable, because now you can just throw all these out, and since they hit so many times, 
you oh just do this do this do this and i'm not even buffing myself is the thing like i didn't give myself any of the buff bam and just like throw it out constantly because then you'll do so much damage that the boss will stagger pretty easily eventually because you're just throwing out so much damage so so often that it's ridiculous and you actually do have to pay attention here because the Evading Executioner's attacks are in a much smaller area of effect, so they do more damage. Stagger. Oh. Up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Staggered again. Made her fall. Hey, guess what? I suck. Heal. Throw out some more fireballs. And now we're doing more damage. Shadow was gonna hope that she threw herself off the edge there. Even though I know that's impossible in this game. Now I gotta pay attention again because the pole dancing does allow for her to get some pretty quick <laughs> dodge. Uh, to get some pretty good hits on. Oh, hey. Yeah, it did do a lot of damage, like, that's a freak. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, she staggered. Oh! Get A, man. Come on, she... It... It feels like she's easier with this one, but that's, again, because I'm probably over-leveled. I say over level, but for this, you just have to be incredibly high level. Like, I'm not even sure why I should be using the Queen's Blood Code, Cold War Materials, and Mark of Honor. I probably should be shoot using the Blood Slayer one. Or Queen Slayer, Blood Slayer. Blood Slayer sounds better. <laughs> okay, so what are these do we got there? Ah, uh, this thing again? Okay. Spam. I just spam. Do this. Ow. Do this and ice. Good lord, this thing has a lot of health. Yeah, no, you're not doing anything. Stay down. Granted, it took almost my entire freaking I card count to defeat it. I mean, I probably could, should just throw it out two of those. Do I even have switch? I do have switch destruction on here. All right, let's see. Who are we fighting? Who are we fighting? Oh crap! We're fighting the Black Knights, and that's gonna be annoying. And I did move my mic a little bit, so I apologize if you heard like a noise. Uh, there we go. Oh my goodness, this thing is monstrous. Okay. Haha, back attack, so you cannot hit me. Do another one. Oh, good lord. Get, get up off me. Fire. Oh, God dang it, Eo. And just hit them with it, which did defeat that one, which is good for us, and just spam attacks this one so we can drain some of its health really quickly, okay, back, okay, heal, oh, oh fuck you, that ain't and there goes my health, Heal the- Fuck! Gosh dang it. Alright, so now I have to get back down there and uh, get my health. So I will cut here and then we'll get back to when I actually get to the part with the freaking uh, Guild of Knights or Black Knights. Okay, I am back and I am here once again trying to do this. I have died a few times trying to get back here. But anyways, uh, I actually switched up my build to more of like just raw damage output and as you can see like within three hits i'm killing it i'm killing fools but i just can't go all willy-nilly because guess what i could still very easily die but you are getting like like you are like two three shotting most of the enemies that you come across with this build heal Especially if you do this. 
like one gift will annihilate them. So since we have another boss fight coming up right after, since we have random, random enemy, uh, wave, then boss fight, you're probably gonna need to use this fight to farm for drains. As in, like you're going to have to just constantly try to get back attacks on these enemies, or you're just not going to have to refrain from using your gifts as much as possible. But since we're already nearing the end, I'm assuming by countering this female, like, knight lost? Bam, bam. That's probably gonna be trouble for us, cause guess what? Hasten's going down, overdrive's up, uh, been reset, and Hasten does take a lot to pretty much get back to. So who's our next uh, boss encounter? Uh, let's see, I can't see him. Unless I'm just a moron. Are they tiny? Well, let's find out. Who is he? Ah, oh, it's Mito! Prisoner of Eternal Turmoil! Oh, Jesus! Okay! You know, I did not think we'd fight Mito again. I was like, oh, Mito's like a one-time boss, but no, he's in here in the Tower Trials. Yes, I was wrong. Oh, Jesus! Right! What the hell? Like, Jesus! <sighs> Alright, so I'll be back once again when I fight Mito and probably do Okay, I am back once again. It didn't take as long as I was thinking, but it's still annoying. So let's try this once again with the Prisoner of Eternal Torment, aka Mito. Okay. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. Heal me, heal me, heal me! What the f Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna come back when I kill him. How about that? Jesus Christ, that went so much better than him. Probably should have. But, yeah. Surprisingly enough, that battle went pretty freaking easy. As in, I came down here, EO healed me, so on and so forth. So, I didn't show off that battle because it literally took forever to try to get back here, and I apologize for that. Maybe I'll show it like in another attempt, like me just going down here and doing the same thing. Hopefully it goes just as well. Maybe it probably won't, but no, it is. I typically buffed, used the um, final journey, and then that I just wailed on him with the um, with this. This does so much damage; it's ridiculous. Anyways, pick this up, RV Master. Guess what? We already got this because this is another DLC skill, I believe. Vigorous. Zeal. I think we already had this because it boosts what mind and uh mind mind and willpower. It's like something in fortitude. Go right here. Yeah, we already had it. Uh, fortitude and vitality. We already had this. This is just your way of getting the, the skills with um, without the DLC, which to be fair is nice of them. Better this than anything else. So, with that, everyone, uh, we will teleport back up out of here. We got another present. Oh, town cake. And this is the first time I've gotten a, uh, a gift from Eva. Sorry that I always make you do all the heavy lifting. My flowers are blooming nice. Sorry that I give you one. Oh, yeah, it's from, like, the flowers we gave her, the flower seeds. Anyways, uh, let's teleport back up here. And then I will get back to you when we go to the Celestial Ice Prison. I had to do that all over again. <laughs> oh boy. Good day everyone, my name is Omega Zero. And I will catch you all later. Probably with another attempt of me up at the end.
Thank <laughs> you. 